done a tutorial, and I've been meaning to for a really long time. School has just been crazy this year. But I'm actually homesick with bronchitis, which is why I sound kind of stuffy. But I figured, you know, while I'm home doing nothing, I might as well film a tutorial like I've been wanting to for so long. So for this one, I just did a, my regular everyday daytime look. I'm using Misha BB Boomer. It's a really nice um, hydrating primer. And the good thing about this is it has um, shimmer in it, so it gives you a really nice kind of radiant finish. Next, we're going to move on to foundation. I'm going to be using Yves Saint Laurent Tint Radiance. The way I like to apply my foundation is to use a stippling brush. I don't know if you guys have ever seen or used these before, but um, I learned this trick from Bub's Beauty. Again, she's my favorite. So what you do is you just put a little bit on your hand like this, however much you need, and just kind of pat it in like that. And then just stipple it on your face like this. And you can blend it in circular motions. And it just gives you like a really light airbrush finish. And there's your foundation. Next up, this is a really important step because it makes a world of difference. If you guys haven't heard of this or if you don't have it, save your pennies because this is worth every bit of money it is. This is the Yves Saint Laurent um, Touche Eclat and it's a highlighting concealer and seriously it'll make you look like you slept for 12 hours. So I just like to use it under my eyes to brighten up. Just click the pen and apply it like this. I also do it over here in the hollows of my eyes and down the nose a little bit. Use as much or as little as you need. And then I just blend it using my ring finger because that has the lightest touch and it's not going to pull on the under eye skin. It just totally brightens up your face and makes a huge, huge difference. Next up, I'm going to be using actual highlighter um, that's just more of a shimmer. And it gives you a really nice radiance to your skin and for daytime I really like to have radiant skin. So I'm going to be using Benefit High Beam. I love this one. And um, it gives you like, if you ever see movie stars, they'll smile and they have like a little bit of shimmer on their cheekbones. Highlighter is how they do it. So you just want to put it right on the tops of your cheekbones. A little bit like that. Also, some down the bridge of your nose. And some on your temples. Is where you typically put it. You can also... Um, I'll just demonstrate for you guys. I don't typically do this, but if you have really small lips, you're insecure about that. Putting just a little bit in your cupid's bow and underneath the bottom of your mouth, once you blend it out, it will help bring more light to that area and it will look like you have fuller lips. I'm going to be using just the same stippling brush I was using earlier. It's by EcoTools just to blend this out. This gives you a really nice finish to your skin. And I realized that filling in your brows makes a world of difference. It, you look... Um, I'm going to use the Brow and Eye Maker pencil from CoverGirl in Honey Brown. You know, it's cheap, but it works good. So you just want to start, you know, make sure your eyebrows are how you want them to be. And just start at the corner and do light little strokes. This is just to fill in any sparse spots and make your eyebrows look more groomed and fuller and more even. After you're done doing that, take one of these little brushes, it's a eyebrow brush, I don't know what to specifically call it, and use this bristle in just to kind of blend the pencil in a little more. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start on my eyes. I'm going to use this Hello Kitty champagne colored eyeliner on the inner rims of my eyes just to make your eyes look brighter and look more awake. So just go ahead and put it on your waterline. And next, I'm going to start on my eyeshadow. I'm using the Kat Von D 
True Moments Eye Palette in Ludwig. And I'll show you guys the palette. This is Ludwig, and it has some greens and darker colors and then really nice neutrals. I'm going to be using these four right here. Actually, probably these three, since it's just a daytime look. This is a matte brown, so it's good if you need to, in a pinch, use it to fill in your eyebrows. But I'm probably going to be working with these three, which are... Um, clay, Downtown, and Broke. Okay, starting with this Kat Von D brush I have. I got it in the, um, the eye set she has. I'm just going to take clay, which is the lightest color here, and just put it all over my lid, even up to the highlight. And... As you can see, I'm patting the eyeshadow on. A lot of girls tend to use like a windshield wiper motion like that to put on their eyeshadow. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you a lot of fallout. So patting it on kind of, as you can imagine, it like pats the eyeshadow down onto your lid more so you're not going to have as much fallout and it's going to stay on longer. Your eyeshadow brush. And dip it into our medium shade, which is... Ooh, let me look again. Downtown. It's a really nice kind of coppery, shimmery, light brown. What I'm also going to do with this color, whatever is remaining on your brush, is just take it down onto the lower lash line. Just whatever is left on your brush. Right. For the next color, which is our darkest color, and it's going to be our crease shade, which is Baroque, I'm going to use this angled crease brush. It's also by Kat Von D. You can tell by the roses. These brushes are really cute and they work well. I'm just gonna dab a little onto that and put it into our crease. Our completed eyeshadow look, it's just really natural colors but very shimmery so, you know, it's really pretty. You can wear it whenever. I switched to using brown eyeliner recently. I was always a black eyeliner person. Just recently I started using brown. And this is Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. You're gonna pull your upper eyelid like that and line your upper waterline. I'm going to only line halfway way in on your bottom waterline. And continue that on the other eye. Now we're gonna actually do eyeliner on you know, our upper eyelid. I like to do both and get as close to the lash line as possible. Like that, because we just want a really natural look. We're not going for anything dramatic with this. And repeat on your other eye. Step of this entire look is going to be mascara. Um, I just got this mascara yesterday. I haven't even tried it, so this is kind of a learning experience for me. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. Anyway, this is my daytime look. I wear my makeup like this to school a lot of times, and it's just good for school, um, work, anything. Um, it's really pretty, really natural, really brightens up your face, and I hope you like this tutorial, and I will try to get some more made soon, so, um, Leave comments, anything below, and subscribe.